So the new Unreal Engine 5 Early Access was released yesterday. Everyone is getting hyped and a lot of questions have been going around. So in this video I will be talking about all the changes you need to know going from UE4 to UE5. If you could support me creating this kind of content by dropping a like on the video and a sub to my channel, that would be appreciated. But now, let's get into this. So before I start diving into the changes, I just want to reassure everyone out there who is working with UE4 and is now worried that they are wasting their time learning UE4 because of the UE5 release that you don't have to worry. There are almost no changes to the functionality in UE5, so all your blueprinting knowledge and other skills will be passed over. What they've done with UE5 is maintain the functionality of UE4, but they've added on a load of other cool features as their tech has improved. So don't worry if you're not quite ready to dive into UE5 or if your PC can't handle it, just keep doing what you're doing with UE4 and all those skills will be passed over for when you're ready. One of the biggest changes going from UE4 to UE5 is the UI. The first thing you'll notice is that the content browser is no longer taking up as much space at the bottom of your screen. We can now toggle the content browser back to normal position with control plus spacebar or we can click the content drawer at the bottom of the page. Next, the icons we're used to seeing at the top of our screen have now changed to smaller, less screen consuming icons. On the left, our place actors panel has completely disappeared and is now a drop down button. We can get the old style back by pressing Alt plus P, or we can click create and select the place actor panel at the bottom of the drop down. You can also right click your panel if you want to adjust its position. We have our content browsers here where we can quickly scan for items we're looking for, we have our blueprint and level blueprint options here and cinematics next to it. Our mode settings have been shrunk down into this toolbar here. Here we've got object mode, landscape mode, foliage mode, etc. Our play button is in the same position, but our build button has now disappeared and it has moved up to the top in the taskbar. We can change our engine UI by hopping over to edit and jumping into the editor settings. You can change your object select color here and you can make your own customizable themes by clicking the plus sign and creating your own color scheme. Progress bars have also been added to the software so we can see the progress on certain actions like compiling shaders. I think we can all agree that this is a beautiful addition to the software. Okay, functionality, like I said, is pretty much the same from UE4. The only blueprint changes are the changing of the math nodes. Whereas before you'd have to bring in a unit specific math node such as an integer plus integer node, now all the math nodes have been changed to be flexible to all unit types. We can right click the add node to specify what unit we want to use or we can simply drag a variable on top of it to assign it to that type. The node also supports adding two different units together and you can do this by just dragging another variable into the other slot. And that is quite literally all the changes you need to know going into UE5. But of course, that doesn't include the incredible new features. But to prevent my videos becoming too long, I will be splitting these features up and doing a tutorial on each one of them. So get excited, we've got lots of cool stuff to come. Keep game developing UE4 or UE5. I will see you all in the next video. Peace! Don't let you